ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite shows of 2022 was House of the Dragon Season 1. It was just so surprising how good it was. Instantly after reacting to it, which you can check out the reactions on the channel, I watched it over a second time. And uh, But yeah, since then, I haven't watched it in a while. So names, names were all super similar to each other in this show, like Rhaenerys, Raina, Rhaenys. There were so many names that were like that, that were confusing a little bit, but I'm hoping I remember most of them. I think I'll watch it a third time over before season two actually drops because I enjoyed it that much. But yeah, I genuinely think that by the time this show eventually ends, it could rise above Game of Thrones. And I think season one already has risen above a lot of seasons alone of Game of Thrones. It was that good. It was very, very well done. Only thing I'm gonna miss is a uh, little Rhaenyra. We're still not gonna probably get more of her unless they do flashbacks or something, which they don't really need to do. But yeah, Millie Alcock, she's gone. She's gone. That was the only thing I didn't like about season one, um, how they just had to get rid of her because she would fit in so well here, but the new Rhaenyra is also so good as well. But yeah, it's been a long time. Um, I've been looking forward to this, waiting. I talk about House of the Dragon, all the trailers releasing today, the boys as well. I talk about these shows so much every day. I think about them all the time. They are so good. So let's hop into this. It's a one minute, 25 second teaser. But yeah, if you guys are fans of House of the Dragon as well, definitely drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, check out my House of the Dragon full season one reaction on the channel. And um, let's hop into this three, two, one. I avoided Damon. Many will die. Otto, Cole, and the victor will eventually. They're all back. There is no war. More dragons. More war. More blood. There's a war between kin. Oh. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Oh, that shot looked a little weird. The CG on, on that flight shot. <laughs> but everything else looks amazing. Oh. Dude, Vagar in action is going to be crazy to witness. Let's go. That looks so good. It's so, such a short teaser, though. Summer 2024, okay. Dude, I just gotta go back to that dragon shot. The flight shots look very green screen to me. So I hope they, they work on that a bit before this comes out, because it really does throw you out just for like a second there. Does it not? Maybe it's because I'm watching on a monitor, maybe on a 4K TV it looks a lot better. Look at this. Look at him go by. Yeah, these guys, they don't even know what to do. What, what do you do? It's like, it's funny because in House of Dragon, I can love so many characters, know they're doing things, war crimes, all this stuff. This dragon, I love it. It killed it killed a kid. What, what I thought would be one of my favorite characters. Gone, just like that. There's so many gray areas. I don't know who to root for, but um, I'm just excited to watch. <laughs> just excited to watch this war unfold between friends, between family. It's gonna get tense. Very tense. As tense as that dinner scene was. Yeah, she just looks so done. Just so done with all of this. Her kid accidentally killing another kid. Like, a lot of these people didn't mean for anything to happen, but uh, it happens. Excited to see these kids fight. One of them has, like, Moon Dancer, right? I don't know all the names of all the dragons, but that one stood out because it sounds super cool. Even though it's probably, like, a really skinny dragon or whatever. I don't know. I think the only thing I'm really afraid of with this is um, some of our beloved characters dying very quickly. I feel like it's just gonna start with a war and a lot of characters are gonna die right off the start of the season. Like maybe not episode one starting with the war, maybe though. No, probably not. Episode two, lots of characters dying, I feel like, or dragons or whatever. That's what I'm afraid of, but um, you know, I haven't read the books. Don't want to really get spoiled at all. We got kids flying on dragons going into war here, so. 
a lot as possible. I, I don't know who I'm going to be rooting for. I'm going to have to watch the season a third time and then be like, okay, I got my definitive team. I don't know what team I'm on yet, so don't ask me. Maybe go back to my finale reaction and see if I said what team I was on. But it's very, it, there's a lot of gray area here, so, you know, good characters on both sides. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. There's a lot of trailers I got to react to today, so getting to all those and editing a lot. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon.